What is going on guys? Your boy Just Jay Sama is in the building. So during this E3, we saw one of the most interesting games that I'm a huge fan of, the new God of War. And on today's video, we're talking about the top 10 facts you need to know about the new God of War. Now is the time to wake up. And to start off our list, at the top, number 10. The game is said to come out in early 2017, which we can expect to be quarter one, which is usually January through April. The games that are also coming out during that time are Ghost Recon Wildlands, Horizon Zero Dawn, as well as the new Hitman game. Let me tell you guys, my wallet is not ready for these games. Let me lube up the, the edges of my wallet so that way the gaming industry can proceed to rape me. And number 9, even though the game is not currently called God of War 4, it's not exactly a sequel, but it's not exactly a reboot either. Some developers have said that it's a reimagining of the new version of Kratos, but all I see is the same old anger-driven god that we've seen in previous titles. Number 8, so far it's been confirmed that the, this new version of Kratos is much older than the Kratos we see in God of War 3, and hopefully he's not too old to where you're actually moving around and he's slipping and falling all over the place like an old man. Number 7, this version of Kratos also has a wife and a son this time around. Whether we get to see her or not, we'll kinda have to play the full game to find out, although the son, who is said to not be playable so far in the game, but will travel with you throughout the entire game. That's pretty cool. It's kind of got this Last of Us vibe to it where it's a father-son type of deal. Number six. So far in this version of God of War, we can tell that it takes place in ancient Scandinavia just before the Vikings. And for anyone who doesn't know Scandinavian lore, they follow Norse mythology, AKA Loki, Odin, and of course, my main man, Thor. Number five. The main voice actor for Kratos is no longer played by the usual T.C. Carson who has defined the role of Kratos up until now. He's been replaced with Christopher Judge, whose previous works include Stargate SG-1, The Dead Space Aftermath, Def Jam Vendetta, X-Men Evolution as Magneto, and he also made an appearance on Fresh Prince as well as the original 21 Jump Street. This guy's got quite the resume. Number four, the story of this version of Kratos revolves around Kratos' redemption and the anger that he tries to control inside, which he clearly displays in the demo from his Spartan Rage technique. Number three, there's a new RPG element to the game that actually allows Kratos to craft weapons, armor, and any other usable items as well as gear for himself, which seems pretty cool now that they're, they're kind of evolving the gameplay. Number two, the game seems to have absolutely no load time. The game is supposed to play throughout the entire thing as one continuous sequence. I wonder how this is going to play out with no load time and going from area to area. Usually in the last God of War games, we got a lot of jump cuts to where Kratos was magically in some other location. Can't wait to see what else happens with this game. And number one, Kratos' son will be assisting you throughout the entire game. He will never leave your side, except for specific sequences. It, so far, it hasn't been confirmed that he's going to be a playable character, but he's also not going to be useless, much like other escort games. He's more so going to be rather useful, much like Ellie in The Last of Us or Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. And there you guys have it, the top 10 things you need to know about the new God of War. Let me know in the comment section down below if I missed anything, so make sure to go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. This has been Just Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.